So it's a real regime almost. Oh, hell no. They're talking about me. All I needed was one ball. The science of training. And I know you don't think it's a sport. How much cardio did you used to do when you used to work out, like back in the day? Actually, actually not much cardio. It was funny because when I trained, it was it was more so I had great I had great genetics in getting very lean, but I didn't do a lot of cardio. I did actually when in some of my best conditions that I was in, I did very little cardio, maybe three days a week. Uh, but I did train very, very hard. A lot of drop sets, a lot of supersets, a lot of going from exercise to exercise very quickly. And a lot of times my heart rate was really pumping hard. Um, and the training itself burned fat. I was very in tune with diet then, but I didn't do as much cardio as people thought I did. You know, I felt when I, at the, towards the end of my career, I started doing cardio because my metabolism, you know, when you diet so hard, you start to slow down your metabolism. I had to do cardio, but otherwise I, I, a lot of my major shows where I was in my best condition, I did no cardio. Interesting. Cause I was, I, I thought that was like, the, I was going to ask you, what is the main difference between the guys now and like when you used to compete in your era, like let's say eighties and nineties, right? Like, I think. I think today the guys know how to train we, a lot of the th mistakes that we made, the new bodybuilders are not making, you know, a, a lot of bodybuilders today do not train real heavy on chest. You know, they don't want to have a, I've torn a pec and a lot of bodybuilders have been, you know, tore their pecs, you know, muscle. And it's a very easy muscle to tear when you're doing really heavy weights, you know, on inclines and presses. And if you look today, a lot of bodybuilders are very careful and, it not tearing a muscle. Um, today's bodybuilders, they they learn to rest more, you know, where they train body parts once a week. But then up here, some bodybuilders training body parts twice a week. I used to train six days a week, twice a day, you know, 20 to 30 sets per body part, you know, six days a week and doing the body parts twice. A lot of bodybuilders today are not doing that. They give the body more rest. Unless it's a weaker body part, they may train it more. Did you do like training, like, so, like, you know, like Dorian Yates had like a hit, it's like high intensity training, which he would do very heavy weight, but less amount of reps. You were the opposite of that. You would do like a lot of. I would do a lot of sets and reps and I would do a lot of drop sets and I would train a muscle to failure. So if I got to a, you know, I got to my fourth set with the maximum weight that I got only eight or 10 reps, I would always believe that that muscle wasn't really to failure unless I use less weight. And did another set. I called it. A, it's called a drop set to do like eight reps. Then I would drop the weight and do ten reps, and then drop the weight and do ten reps again, and then drop the weight and do another ten reps. I would train that muscle to the lightest to the lightest weight till I was in total failure. That was always my last set that I trained. The, only the last set. The last set I would do three or four sets, and then the last set I would train to failure. Not on all the exercises, by the way, but two or three exercises out of that body part. I wanted to ask you something, actually. I'm only gonna ask you this because your name came up uh, during this thing I'm about to ask you about. So I interviewed Robbie Robinson uh, back in April 2020, right? Mm. And um, I know you know him, obviously, but he, yeah. he he made certain statements in the interview about Joe Weider being racist. And, you know, a lot of people around the Weider company being racist, and he said that sometimes he would win a show but get a smaller check, and you you get second place. You get a higher check than him. Is that I want to I want to get your response on it, just because your name was brought up in the conversation. That's totally a lie. Joe Joe Weider was far from racist. He actually was one of the first. Listen, I, I have great respect for for Robbie, um, but I I really don't believe I I knew Joe very well. First of all, as a kid, he was one of the first to really promote, you know, black bodybuilders. Um, you know, in, on covers of his magazines. And uh, there's a bodybuilder named Leroy Colbert, who was the first bodybuilder to have 20 inch arms. Um, Joe would constantly promote him, you know, in his magazines. He was a black bodybuilder. Joe Weider, there, there's, and it's totally false about prize money being less. If you place less, you're going to make less. If I was second, I'm going to place less. I'm going to get more less than the guy who got first. Um, you know, I've beaten Robbie Robinson, you know, I mentioned it's one of the bodybuilders, like it was one of the greats. And, you know, Joe Weider was, I'm just saying, Joe Weider was not a racist. 
at all. He was he was basically fair. And what Joe believed in is that if you worked hard, like I'll give you an example. Joe gave a lot of bodybuilders opportunities in making money. He would offer money in contracts. One of the things when before the big contracts came about, he asked me, hey, Rich, what do you want? I can give you, you know, back then 4000 a month or would you like a free ad in my magazine? I said, I want the free ad because I knew that I can. I, I had entrepreneur in my brain. If I had that free ad, I can take that and I can start selling my my booklets. I can start selling pictures. I can start selling my shirts. And that free ad would equate to $20,000 in sales as compared to the bodybuilder who would just accept that $4,000 you know, paycheck. Um, he really uh, liked that. Joe could see that in me because I... I didn't want money. I said, I want the fame that's going to make me make more money, you know, and that's what Joe provided for me. And I'm not sure why Robin, I've heard Robbie Robinson make those, those statements. And I think Joe had given a lot to Robbie Robinson. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, why he still feels that way. You know, you know, Robbie is still going to go down as one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. You know, great front double, you know, front double biceps, greatest arms. He had so many things that, you know, were, were great on him. And I'm not sure, you know, I guess he's mad that he didn't win the Olympia. I guess he's mad he didn't beat me in, in the Arnold Classic that we went against. But I'm not sure, you know, I, 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 Joe Weider is not a racist. Um, Rich, how do you feel about women's bodybuilding being going to come back this year at the Olympia? And what kind of vibes did you get from people? Were they happy that it came back? Uh, were people, uh, kind of I mean, I, I know Jake Wood likes women's women's bodybuilding. I truly respect women's bodybuilding, you know, because anyone to look like that has to really work just as hard as a man, a man that develops their body. Is it acceptable mainstream? I don't believe, you know, it is. I mean, I can see someone like that and, and admire it because of what they've been able to do to get like that. Um, I prefer bikini. I love the wellness, you know, division. I think I love the wellness better than bikini because it's, you know, women with developed glutes and legs, <laughs> which all men like, most men like. <laughs> um, but I do admire women's bodybuilding. Should it be there? Yes, why not? I mean, now it's just there's so many opportunities for women because you now have the extreme women's bodybuilding. Then you have, what is it called? Women's physique. Then you have, um, what is it? Um, what's after physique? There's um, figure. There's figure. <laughs> so you have bodybuilding, physique, figure, and then they have the girls who do the routines. Fitness. Oh, and then after fitness, then you have wellness, and then you have bikini, and then you have bikini. So women have a lot of opportunities in what they want to do with their bodies, where men have, you know, a couple opportunities. You can either be this extreme bodybuilder, or you can be a classic bodybuilder, or you can be a guy with board shorts. <laughs> Those are your three categories.